Hi everybody, hier ist Christian vom Teamwork Cast. Und hi, das ist Falco from the Fifth Click. And this is Netron and Timor Cast. This is 19th of April, a private draft tournament. Uh, what, what's the name of the, of the draft pack again? Uh, System Shock? No, System no. Crash. System Crash. System Crash. System Shock mm -hmm. was another good uh, computer game as mm. I played computer oh, games back in the Those day. Those memories. Yes. <laughs> So we are now, old. this is the second uh, round, the first game from the second round. On the left we have our Marcus here, who is completely hungover at this point. <laughs> he, he's actually playing with sunglasses because the sun hurts his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and his beautiful shirt. Uh, as he was one hour in front of his flat, calling him out, calling him on a sandy, uh, call, ringing the bell, and he didn't open. Yeah, and then, then we didn't find his car. <laughs> We called you, so you could get uh, Philip and drove a with a train to Garyon. And yeah, came Marcus one hour just, later. <laughs> Marcus is just not having none of, of anything that is happening right now. <laughs> uh, and he's playing against Lewis, who is uh, our aggressive, uh, uh, temperamentful. Uh, I don't know what Hughes? the proper word. Well, he he is a very aggressive player. He's very you know on the edge all the time, on the t on tilt. Indeed, he's a nice guy. He is the youngest player in this draft. I think he's uh, 13 or 14. Mm. But he has uh, skill. He has that patience and at no. the right moments. And he's a uh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> and he is a nice person to play against. And he is. He is. And he warms a little bit up at the uh, yeah. start. Yeah. He's a little blah, 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 but yeah. then. He gets your jokes and is very really nice. Yeah, Marcus, no, no two installs, HQ and R&D and getting one credit. Yes. We see an edge of word in Marcus' hand. Okay. Yeah, Marcus. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. I played against Marcus. He just yeah. won two oh. games against me. So he's, he's doing quite well. Although Lewis ob obviously also won some games. Mm. I knew that, that Lewis was, yeah. was bragging a bit because he managed to snatch like four or five parasites. Yeah, he bragged all the time to me. Michael, do you have a parasite? No. Three clone ships, yes. Yeah, so. I have five parasites. <laughs> <laughs> so, Data folding, a nice yeah. eco engine mm. from the start Start on, very good. Installing another ice in front of R&D for Marcos and getting monies. Nothing oh, happening man. in the moment. Do you have your Kaisa names <laughs> in, in row? In check, no. Sorry, it's a rook, I think. Um, it's uh, hosted on an ice. It makes the rest cost higher <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up, please. I it don't know. It is a rook indeed, and it makes Cringe. the uh, rest cost indeed too for the entire server. Though that's important. It's not yes. just for the eyes, for the entire yeah. server. That's and something I we f once forgot when I was playing against Lewis, and that was made a huge difference. The Kaisers were uh, omnipresent in the draft packs. So we see a Marumati, I think, in front mm. of HQ. So that was the, uh, just stop and uh, stop the run. Uh, yeah. I think this thing four barrier right now. And now you see what I have for influence in this meta. Yeah. All using Ooh. their middle finger to show the cards. <laughs> see, look at this. For so five. Marcus reses the rook, uh, the ice wall, uh, wall static against the rook, spending all his money, I assume. Yeah, the one I gave him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And crazy. you have to remember, like, this is a very simple card from a core set mm -hmm. that nobody gets excited about, but in draft, this is a huge deal. It's, just, it's end the rise, it just and ends the run. And now strength three. It's, it's not uh, expensive. Not out of chameleon range, and uh, but a good thing. Uh, yes, yeah, it's just it's just a very solid piece of ice that something that you might even start scoring behind. Another eco card Ooh. from uh, Lewis and a parasite on the Mori Martyr. Compromised nice. employee. Yeah. Lewis really likes this kind of play. He always also yeah. even played like a deck that was quite similar to to this one, uh, where you know you make the corporation pay a lot to to rest ca uh, cards, and then you pro benefit from corporation resin cards. Yeah. Yeah. Synergies in cards. Lewis has a little knack for them and finds them. So, Parasite gets one token. Lewis only uses credit tokens for clicks, for credits, for data, <laughs> for reference tokens. Okay. We see the um, cloner time at the score. And very right. nice to see that the data folding works on Lewis' side because all uh, programs are hosted on the corp servers. <laughs> what? That doesn't. What? No. But Just a little bit of uh, fanfiction in Falco's mind. Oh, no, but it's nothing, that nothing that, important. That's, that's, that doesn't mm -hmm. really work in real life. No, the, the, it like, doesn't. The MU is still being used up by those cards. Yeah, Something that new players uh, often forget. And mm -hmm. not even new players, because you know, the cards are so not in, on your side of the board, so you don't count them when you count the MU. Yeah. Uh, so it's very easy to miss them. But they are hosted. And so, uh, why can you. Huh? 
If it's for the complete server, why does he do this move? Because um, I think uh, he wants to uh, encourage Marcus to... Maybe he forgot that it's for the entire server. Okay. Or maybe he wants to encourage Marcus to trash the other thing. It costs a click to move it. And uh, I thought it could only move um, between servers. Uh, no, it can move uh, v um, like horizontally and vertically. Ah, okay. The root movement from in the Kaisa. Okay, I don't understand it's, it's, that. It's, yeah, those, those are very complicated. So we see two clown chips there. So yeah, yeah so Lou is like completely uh, um, you know, doing the parasite recursion thing. He has an all LDS nice. processor. Yeah, and there is uh, the Tracer. Gutenberg on the remote server. Those people are crazy using those Gutenbergs on crazy places. <laughs> Gutenberg, like four Gutenbergs in his deck. Ah, uh, nice. Giving the, he, the, he did he get attack for this? Yeah, he got, Lewis got attack for this. Yeah. Lewis Trash. Is now attacked. Trash the private contact. So now, of course, Marcus can maybe attack his economy. Yeah, perhaps data maybe. folding, trashing would cost you action two credits. Hmm. Marcus doesn't That's have hard. the the money to do that right now. Uh, he uh, really needs to uh, secure his HQ. Mulamati gets uh, deal stalled. The parasite dies. Ah, mm -hmm. LLDS processor was not installed. It was in the seat. Yeah, it was discarded. But I was wondering okay. why, why mm -hmm. he did it. Like, I wonder what kind of breaker suite he has. I guess it's good for the for chameleon. chameleon. Yeah, definitely. Chameleon gets strength four. Ooh, so another rook. Oh, <laughs> this is painful. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is the way Kaisas was supposed to work initially, <laughs> I think. <laughs> wow. Another Marumati. Marcus had some really good draws on Enderun Ice here. Where yeah, did he got all those cards from? Fargo? And he has a traffic accident on his hand. And he uh, is a nice guy and remembers uh, Lewis for the credit for resing the ice. Yeah. Good. And trashing the data folding. Ooh, finally. down to zero credits though. That's that. I mean, okay, he. That's, that's really heavy. good credit denial here. But is, uh, the clone retirement was caught. Yes. Ah, okay. You you forgot it. I mentioned it. You you didn't listen to me, Falco. I God don't listen Falco. to you very much. Yeah, I know. Only in videos I watch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we didn't play in this draft against each other. Ne neither drafts we played against each other. That's, no, really. Uh, that's a that's, shame. Yeah, we should. We should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. We will do a draft in front of... With these we sealed packs, we will do, do a draft in front of the uh, Origio. Ah, yeah, on nice. the 23rd of May. So if you're mm. from outside and want to come to the Origio and stay a night in Aachen perhaps and have already sleeping bags with you, you can say hello to the Aachen City Grid and uh, perhaps come to the draft at the four abends <laughs> of the Origio tournament. Fourth night, yeah. Fourth night, thank you. Uh, 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 words, words, they elude me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. You're doing a really good job. So do we see a parasite installed on that? Or maybe that's how he moved the rook, because he yeah. wanted to install the parasite on there. Perhaps. And uh, only one Kaisa piece can be uh, hosted on one ice in, at, the mom uh, at one moment, but a parasite could be hosted on it. Finger. But, yeah, but the problem is, like, once you get the trash of the parasite, you lose the Kaisa. Yeah, of course, yeah, but you, yeah, yeah. Just uh, that was a, a yeah, rude yeah. question for me. Yeah. So, what will Marcus do? He has a, a traffic accident in his hand. And huh? so, Making so he's, a, oh, one traffic accident is it's not enough. But like, if he gets enough traffic accidents and he gets a second tag on Lewis, then Whoa. that could that could uh, become a problem here. So Lewis rehosts the uh, Kaisa on that other server that Marcus just built. Oh, on a okay. remote server that Marcus built. And he runs on it. He really wants no to rest. do the credit denial thing. There comes a second check. Perf oh God, it's the edge of night. Edge oh, of edge of world! Oh! <laughs> Two brain Perfect. damage for Lewis. Two brains. Femme fatale. Femme fatale. fatale. Wow. wow, really good things to trash here. Well, why, uh, why don't you trash that? Trash that? Come on, Lewis. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes I want to keep it around, but uh, there, there okay. were a lot, was a lot of diverse but portfolio, but I don't think diverse <laughs> but portfolio would make sense right now. <laughs> no, uh, not in this deck. Yeah, there is no recursion, like not a lot of recursion in, in yeah. the draft, so trashing so, it would probably make sense. He will kill him. Oh, now. and that is the kill, the two traffic accident kill, <laughs> because he went through the Gutenberg to get a second tag, and of course now with this uh, two brain damage, he is in kill range with the two traffic accidents. So that's so, that was a quick game here. <laughs> a very good play, the Gutenberg in front of the remote, um, yeah, luring the runner on it because yeah. uh, on the centrals he would have not won a uh, thing. I think the parrot side recursion was a good, great yeah. deck. A snare is in his deck. 
come on, Marcus, what is that for a heavy thing? Yeah, Marcus created like a pretty, pretty hardcore deck here. Again, yeah. like you, there's always a one player who just focuses on one weird strategy that nobody thought of, and that player gets like all the wins. And yeah. it seems to be, at least for uh, for the corporations, I see Marcus though right now. Although Lewis did some really good runner stuff here, I really liked uh, his approach here to uh, to tax the economy of the player with the rooks because those always go around. Nobody drafts the rooks, so you can get a ton of those uh, against uh, my corp deck. He would have just uh, scored the genders a lot of because yeah. Mui Marty uh, was great as one of static on Gutenberg. Ah, just a very good drafted deck by Marcus. Yeah, Marcus had uh, Lewis had really bad bad luck because Marcus had all those cheap uh, end run eyes uh, here, so the the rook wasn't doing as much damage as 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 uh, it should have. Yes. Uh, but otherwise, I think, like a very strong uh, deck that Lewis constructed here. And of course, with all those Parasites recursion, it's just uh, ridiculous. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, just for a quick note, if you want to come to the Origio or for the draft, you can reach me at Fight the Fiese on Twitter or on the netrunners-hq.de. Yeah. If you have any questions, we would love to have more guests. We have pl uh, places for 140 players uh, this time around. The big venue for the Origio to yeah. come around and have fun. Yeah, and I think that we are, I create like a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash Oiregio 3 or something. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, yeah, and so you can you can go there and there's going to be like a description of the tournament. If you are somewhere in Europe, you should check it out. It's going to be a really excellent tournament. It's going to be some exclusive awards. The <laughs> messages I saw there. So yeah, check that out. Perfect. Then thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for being with me and I hope you will hack the planet with me next time. Hack <laughs> the planet! Hack 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 the planet! H